Question 1130. Do you think we should have a universal one world government? Oh, just to drive the conspiracy theorists mm. mad, yes. <laughs> <laughs> You want to drive the conspiracy theorist mad? You want to turn around and say, "What are you talking about? Ah. We've already got one." Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah, how do you we, know? We, if if we, if we do, it doesn't work very well. <laughs> right. Computer Chick Production says, and I have to get this quite right. No, but hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Only if I'm in charge. How about that? <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm good with that. <laughs> and the, the, yeah, have, I think we, we would have to. We would ha we would have to discuss what sort of government that might be, of course. But yeah, yeah, it might well, be. That might as be long as you don't make any rules about about setting sex in the swimming pool. Yeah, I mean, I think I'd leave that option open, but I think education is really important. Say, so if you choose to bone in the backyard in the swimming pool of your neighbor. Please be aware that you might develop a yeast infection. And you can pass that along to your lover. They can not only get it in their mouth, but on, if depending on your lover, if they're male, they can get a yeast infection on their penis. Mm -hmm. And that's worse. Trust me. It's a lot worse. <laughs> Trust well, well, me. How would you, how would you, how would I know? It? How would I compare it? Okay. I'm going to have to describe something, right? It's like these little strands that grow. Okay. Now, when you've got an organ that expands, every time it expands, those strands tear the skin. Burning. Lots of burning and itching. <laughs> it's really unpleasant. Okay, so what's the problem? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I feel a bit... I'd feel a bit weird answering this quest this particular question though, sort of saying saying, Yeah, why not? When I when I think back and think I oh, know I voted to leave the EU in twenty sixteen, so <laughs> uh, Nerdy says, No, a universal one world government would be completely corrupt. All governments are gonna be hence why, I've, hence why I voted to leave a certain organization in twenty sixteen. <laughs> Godless Sewing says, yes, but only if I get a cool spaceship like Blake Sevens. So, no. Nerdy, no. can you make bread from your yeast infection? You can. Yes. <laughs> you can. I actually have a friend of mine. She didn't have a yeast infection, but you have natural yeast in your vaginal areas. She actually developed um, bread from that yeast, and it was pretty awesome. Her name's Zoe. Was, a, was it sourdough? <laughs> I there was a guy who <laughs> used uh, yeast from his pubes to make beer, too, I believe. You can. I mean, it's, <laughs> you know, it's just you're collecting it from a different place. It's the same freaking type of yeast. It's just yeah. growing on your body rather than, you know. Stool says, so there, there, Stool says, a friend. <laughs> yeah, her name's Zoe. Her name's Zoe Sa Savers. She's he doesn't believe you. He, he says okay. you're lying. He thinks it's you. Of course he does. <laughs> I would have um... eaten her bread. I've hung out with her many times. She works at the Vagina Museum in London. So, oh, does she I mean, really? A... Yes, she does. That is a very oh, what cool a, museum. What a cool place, isn't it? It mm. is. It is. Every time I go visit her, we go ha like I go to London, I hang out with her, we have a drink or something. I'm so proud of her. She got a job at the Vagina Museum. And she, I, like, I she can't got say I... She's got vaginas all over it when she's on the tube. She'll post pictures. <laughs> I've got to say, it's probably one of the few museums I have not visited. It's relatively new. Yeah. Right. Can I ask a question? No. It's just a little hole in the wall. No idea at all. <laughs> right. Here's the question. <laughs> the bell. The bell. Here's, here's, here's the thing. Right. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. This question is about a world government. Oh. Can someone please explain to me how the hell we got to making bread out of vaginal yeast. You called up yeast infection. <laughs> well, couldn't we you also did. use breast milk for, within the bread? I don't know. Well, <laughs> it, you know, we're talking <laughs> about... Can you think of breast milk butter? Wouldn't that be cool? 
that's very niche. Mm -hmm. Well, Dave, I, I think I can make the connection here. Yeast makes bread. Bread is food. A one world government has to think about feeding the people. There we go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, bread lines, Dave. Bread lines. Soiling <laughs> green people. It's for the bread. bread. I like and Judy's you do, response. And, if you, and I blame Dirty. And, <laughs> and if you do it right, you only have to take one sample. You only, yes. Yeah, that's true. And you just grow it and you have like your, your, your founding like yeast culture and you use each time yeah. you just cultivate it the, the, julie says the, bre the breast milk would be a little tricky to capture yeah. <laughs> it would it would but i don't know i've never had breast milk so i don't know how it tastes i'm told it's a little sweeter slightly watery, what? more watery um mm. right i have to repeat what julie said because it's relevant to the conversation nerdy you're gross and also those infections <laughs> are very painful bad rat Okay, now back to the question. <laughs> the Lone Wanderer says, I would be up for a one world government. And Julie says, if it was a democracy, sure. You don't think democracies can be subverted at all? There's mm. nothing in recent history that might make you doubt whether or not democracies are secure. A democracy or a republic? <laughs> well, I was thinking of a republic, you're right. <laughs> yeah. Although I would say that there's some recent examples of democracies that aren't doing much better. New Zealand's doing pretty well. They're doing all right. How's Russia? That's very democratic now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is it though? <laughs> yeah, Putin's it's our kind guy. of like Russia has become like the Amazon employees on Twitter. It's great here. We're all very happy. We're like, we have like, it, they have like Twitter bots on of Amazon employees saying, no, we're treated really well. It's like, you know, Oompa Loompa singing or something. Man. Like, twice if you need, if you need rescue. <laughs> yeah, it's like, so, it's weird. Um, Stool says the evil VYI, that's something I don't know, are taking over the world via 5G. Jamie says, hell yeah, globalism. Uh, Nerdy says, one world government rules, you must deposit ugh, your yeast in the communal jar. <laughs> <laughs> I really should have read the end of that sentence before I started reading it. You can yeah, see in my voice the heart point heart at which, yeah, <laughs> when I got to the end of it in my head. Um, can you imagine that if that was your job? You're the yeast collector? <laughs> You know, and people of all ages, you know, and since men do grow yeast on their penis, you know, <coughs> it's like, you'd be, you know, I don't know. I don't know if I'd want that job. You don't know if you'd want that job. I, I can be fairly certain I wouldn't want that job. I I think it's very, I think it's very good, though, that the government's taking the responsibility to create that job, though. True. True. No, they would. They would have to sample like with a with a like big Q-tip right down the urethra, right? Well, if it is grows on the outside, so it could. You could like, but you'd have to be scraping a little bit. They may not like yeah. to scrape it. This is why we don't sure. have an HPV test for dudes, because you have to scrape and remove it. And you'd just be scraping like the whole penis, and then they'll be raw for like a few days, and then well, they'll be quiet about it, and they'll be like, "I'm raw. My penis hurts." <laughs> did, you, did you know that ERs report that the incidence of uh, raw penis is much higher on a Monday than a Friday? I wonder why that is. Hmm. Are y'all putting your penises in things you should on Mondays? <laughs> oh, it's the weekend. I was going to say, it's just that you rubbed them sore. <laughs> Everything I should. Yeah. That's a very nice looking fence there. <laughs> but to be fair, okay, this is, I'm sorry. To be fair, I did have a dream once that I had a penis and I put it in everything. And at the end of the dream, I ended up in prison because I was like putting my penis in a fence, in a bush. I was <laughs> like, what does this feel like? Because I've never had a penis before. <laughs> so, but, oh. you know, they got really upset and put me in prison because I did that. But I was <coughs> I was watching. Welcome to being real. Like job hearing you talk this way. <laughs> <laughs> it's, you know, scientists, if I just wake up one day and I have a penis, I'll be like, wow, this is so interesting. Let me make a journal and do some experiments. What happens when I do this? Wow. You just, it's a learning. Test drive. 
you, I'm sure you will, you will end up very disappointed. Look, I yeah, yeah, tried like using the argument that I'm experimenting. <laughs> <laughs> How'd that go? I still got hit. <laughs> <laughs> right. The Lone Wanderer says, democracies can be corrupt. I'm going to die before we get to the end of this question. Gibbler says, a one world government that would wage heavy peace, abolish hunger and poverty and legalise all drugs. Godless Saying says, if it ends religion, then sign me up. Then Nerdy tries to distract us again. And now they're going back to yeast. Now, Julie says, of course they can. But I'd rather have one person, one vote democracy than anything else. Jamie says, having a penis is overrated. Uh, Stool says, the police hate it when you say I was just doing science. <laughs> I was just doing science, you know. I'm just... say, Lone Wanderer says, why is it really... always my questions that cause bother? And I'll say, because for some reason, when you try to write completely non-smutty questions, they end up there. It's not your fault, it's the yeast. The it's yeast is the problem. It's mm. mind control. It's mind control yeast. That's what it is. <laughs> Don't eat Subway uh, anymore. They have mind control yeast. Right. Is it like I, just hope, I, hope, I hope everybody's getting a rise out of this yeast conversation. <laughs> Jeff, Ooh. Jeff, Jeff, I have a question. It's devolved into puns. Oh, when you were I'm sorry, your... I, I think I'm sorry, I think I've um I think I've been like exposed to bionic dance too much. I'm sorry. <laughs> when you were at your most, shall we say, uh, extreme, would you have wanted a one world government there? Mm. I don't know, because ultimate the ultimate goal is not really for a you know a one world state so um no no but then right. i was i was never of the as you know i i, I, I was just i am not and never have been shall we say uh um partial to the sort of stalinist maoist kind of uh ideology that i know some people are um like the communist party of britain for example it, it's always been my feeling that that people who talk about wanting a one world government um, are are either just these horrible anal retentive control freaks, um, or they're people who are the absolute polar opposite of that and want no controls whatsoever on them. Um, and it's just interesting that that both of those personality types would be drawn to it. But I find it funny that the ones that but the ones that want the new the, the want it for the new controls are the ones that are just going to get stomped on so quickly. Well, I mean that's uh, that's what like, like a libertarian kind of view. Every everybody every man for themselves kind of yeah kind of thing. Yeah, well, li libertarians are just Republicans right. about all those morals. I uh, let's just say <laughs> someone Republicans have let's morals. Just, let's just say who's um. Are you let's, still? Let's just, <laughs> let's just uh, let's just say is uh, even at my most ex extreme stage, so I just say I always found um, libertarians amused me that tell who tell me that I believed in a utopian fantasy, and I'm like uh, <laughs> pot kettle there, buddy. <laughs> Math pig. Right. Uh, 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 I'm I'm the question. Um, Come on. Yeah, board question. Nothing to do with having a three-year-old fucking toddler that hasn't left me alone in time. <laughs> <laughs> One world government. You love that little girl. You squeeze her every chance you get. Uh, probably not, no. No? No. no. I don't think it would work. What if, what if Manda was like the supreme dictator? Is she not? Uh, well, that's what I'm saying. If it's a one-world government, she, will, she I think it's inevitable that she she's will not, rise She's not listening to... at the moment. He can be honest. Yeah. Yeah, she just made it to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> it's only been like 20 minutes. <laughs> um, no, I, I just don't see it working. I, I don't see that it would work. Everybody is... It is. We're all different, and it's... No, I don't think it it's... would work. It would only be like a theoretical possibility, I suppose, if um, we know if it was some sort of sci-fi thing and there were <laughs> other intelligent races out there that we had contact with. I, I, it's yeah, the only yeah. thing, what, situation where I we need an enemy it. that is that is, being, that is being the earth. a necessity, being <laughs> a necessity. 
Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Brian. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't think it would. I don't think it would work. Uh, the, the idea is beautiful, but I don't. Uh, the reality is that uh, this is the same thing that happened when the British wanted to have colonies all over the uh, all over the globe. See, we could have had a glorious. The... We could have had a glorious one world government then. Yeah. See, I think I think that <laughs> yeah. our, our Nash our like worldwide anthem would be Danny Boy, which means Math Pig couldn't participate because he doesn't know that song. Yeah. Um <laughs> But the pipes the pipes are calling you. <laughs> Have you learned say, it yet, Matt? Uh, I could say no, I'm not uh, an Irish woman. I'm not allowed to learn that. Yeah, well <laughs> uh, I was gonna say uh, I was gonna say just on what Dave said, give it given it the uh current even the even today to the current mess that the British Empire has left around the world. Uh <laughs> that's because that they kind of my left. Left. <laughs> If people would have been happy with being subjugated, it would have been fine. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I, I mean, I'm pretty damn sure there was actually, I mean, there was actually some blooming his, apologist historian for the empire who was um, who actually who actually said that about the Indian mutiny that well, it was actually it was far more humane strapping sepoys to cannons and blowing them up than hanging them, and it's like. Well, actually, maybe you want, would instead of asking them, would they prefer to be strapped to a cannon, blown up, or hung? Maybe you should have asked them, would they prefer to be strapped to the cannon, and blown up, or not? <laughs> you know, that works. Uh, what were you going to say, Brian? Oh, that's yeah, just about about uh, colonialism. It's, somebody's there's going to be some group of people that are in charge, and you know, people on the opposite side of the world don't like being controlled and told what to do and paying taxes and whatnot towards someone from the other side of the world, as history has shown. So, I, 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 I don't think it'll work out, and I think it'll it'll be uh, more of a conflict than anything. I yes. think I think Rage Against the Machine should be in charge of the New <laughs> World Order because I completely echo a lot of their sentiment, particularly in the current environment. Funny yeah. story, Mel. That's actually my wee girl's favorite band. <laughs> she <laughs> calls it loud. Concert. She calls it loud music. She doesn't know Rage Against the Machine. She calls it put on the loud music. And last oh. week I put on Pink Floyd, and she goes, "Daddy, that's crime music. Can I have the loud music, please?" Math pit, math pit. Can I um? Can I just say when she gets to school and someone asks her a favorite nursery rhyme, you do realize she's gonna say, "Fuck you! I won't do what you tell me." Her That's fucking right. mother took her to get professional photos done, and when they asked her what her favorite song was, it was "Ba Ba Black Sheep," and it's in this big poster thing. I was like, "Fuck that!" I sent it to jail. He removed that and put in "Rage Against the Machine." I was like, "That's the way it should be." <laughs> I, my favorite thing are all the Gen Xers who are like, "I used to like Rage Against the Machine until they turned political." And oh, Tom Morello on like, Twitter's like, "What? When? When were we not?" I'm so confused. Well, Let's start the, the, the very year, first the album's tour. political. It's like, what did you listen to anything they said? Just okay. Jenny. Okay. Hmm. I I, uh, I I forget who said it in the chat, but I, you know I agree that that it's one world government's a nice pipe dream, but I don't think we could ever achieve it. Uh, I think America's existence is the perfect example of why not. That even when you have um, perfectly good information and truth about the equality of all people um, and how everyone benefits when everyone rises. You still have people who are just so involved with hate and destruction of other people. I just don't see it ever being able to work. Mm -hmm. There's you'd, just, there's just too much hate in the human soul. You'd, you'd, still, you'd still have... You had a one world government, you'd still have all the what were formerly nations banging on about states' rights or something. Oh, sure, sure, sure. And and, and just greed, I think, is is the, one of the three things that are just absolutely destroying the human the human race. Uh, greed, religion, and uh, hate are, are the three things that are just going to destroy us. Yes, yeah, you're probably right. It's depressing. Mel! Yes. Yes, you think we should have one? Well, I said if I'm in charge, yes. Oh, yeah. 
I think you might have I... to fight uh, Memory Atheist for it. <laughs> Maybe. You know, we could be like co like Empresses, you know? And you know, we could do like the whole never ending story thing. Y'all can come up with new names for us and we'll start over each time. It's great. I think, you know, I think it could work. Me and Mama Atheist, we'd be sitting around. We'd be like Empresses of the World. I think she'd be okay with that. Can't I be too? Oh, yeah. Sure. So we got okay. Jenny, Are you just me. handing them out? Yeah, you know. So yeah. yes, yes, as long as it's a gynocracy. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. If you have a vagina, that's fine. Yeah, here's the thing. Also, I'd already like planned what would happen in a world order if I happened to develop the zombie virus, and then I would be at the <laughs> and develop a vaccine in advance. And so, if you could pass, there's three tests. There's a personality test. There's an aptitude test, and there's also you know a, a hands-on, you know test said can you build things um and so if you're able to pass two of those three tests you get the vaccine but you know if you can't pass the test you got to go out in the zombie world and live for two years and if you survive the natural selection is chosen for you then you can come to our you know new world order and get vaccinated i think that's fair i um i will I will just say, if you and Manda are in charge, and that's the rules, uh, Mark Sargent, if you're listening to this, you are screwed. <laughs> you are screwed. I thought about this. I was like, mm. <laughs> the Lone Wonder has as well. She says, this is my world, government. I have it all planned out. <laughs> all, it's all sorted, guys. You know, just, just give us the power and, and you know, We'll make we'll make certain y'all have cookies. Y'all like cookies? I know that tends to like oatmeal. 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 Yeah, oatmeal. You, you all have some oatmeal cookies. We don't molasses. Ice, ice molasses cookies. Ice molasses. That <laughs> like, no, no wafer. No wafers. <gasps> we say oh, that yeah. for the banana pudding man. And, like and fig newtons. Fig newtons. I um. That, well, that's I. That's all I need. I um I, I actually recently went onto a diet website because I wanted to lose some weight, but I wasn't impressed because the first thing it asked me if it wanted cookies. <laughs> cookies are amazing. Oh, really that's like. Terrible. Right. Oh, I get it now. Oh, okay. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. If you enjoyed that, please hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down. If you think you've got a better answer or just want to tell us how wrong we are, leave a comment down below. Subscribe down here for new questions every day and make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on our live shows. If you click over here, you'll see our latest upload. Over here for what YouTube thinks you'll love the most. And finally, for a complete playlist of all our currently recorded least questions, click here. <laughs>